All right, so I've got another battle. Um, again, of course, I'm on the other side. Um, my opponent has a really cool looking team. That was the first thing that uh, kind of struck me about it. It's a very, very cool looking team. Um, it's really weak to ice because, um, you know, Sharpedo isn't really a switch in for anything. And uh, Scissors physically bulky, not particularly specially bulky. It was Mega. Uh, from what I remember, so, you know, it's probably, um, it can probably take the hits anyway once it's Mega Evolved, but before, it's got kind of lackluster, and otherwise he's got four Ice Weaknesses, but I saw his team, I'm like, that actually looks like a really cool team, um, I really liked it, but, um, I'll, I'll start off, just, uh, just start off with the battle, I lead with Gengar, because whenever I see Garchomp, I lead with Gengar, because it's a really good lead, uh, I pull Umbreon here on any special move, and he goes for Psychic, and pretty sure he's, locked into that um i'm it's more than I'm pretty sure i'm like i can guarantee he's locked into that so i just baton pass as he's going to switch out um goes into scissor and i bring in manectric and i go for the old volt switch i believe here because you know uh if he goes guard chomp then that's whatever but he wouldn't really want to go guard chomp on a flamethrower so i'm able to bring keldeo in and you know he's low enough that he's probably gonna have to switch um i go for hydro pump i get a crit which is um you know, it's it's whatever. Um, it just deals a bit extra damage. Uh, he goes Seed Flare and he misses Seed Flare, but Seed Flare is very inaccurate. Uh, he does get the drop to kind of negate that uh, miss uh, as I uh, go for the foul play here. So I'm at minus two special defense and uh, Umbreon's still quite nice because it checks two things quite nicely. So I'm just going to pull Scissor here as it is quad resisted. And I didn't want to bullet punch because they like to carry HP fire. Sorry, I didn't want a U-turn, because they like to carry HP fire and stuff like that. So as he just goes into Garchomp, which is fairly obvious enough play, but, you know, um, it gives me an opportunity to set my, my own rocks up, and rocks hurt his team quite a bit more than they hurt my team, so I'm okay with trading rocks in this scenario. Uh, he pulls back into Shaman, and I'm going to go into Scissor on an expected Seed Flare, but he actually has HP Ice. Which is, uh, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to bullet punch here. He's not going to switch out. He doesn't have a way to remove hazards. So no reason to save. He's going to go Tornadus here. And he's going to pull out to get the Regenerator boost um, into Garchomp. But it's not really the huge problem. Because, well, I'm able to uh, deal a significant ton of damage to the Garchomp. Uh, Manectric pretty much here is... Manectric and Keldeo are my two win conditions right here. Um, so I'm just going to go Manectric right here. I'm able to get rid of the Garchomp. Uh, just as the last little bit, uh, Thunderous comes in, and I still have an Umbreon in the back, so that's exactly what I'm going to go for, uh, as he goes for the Volt Switch, which is okay, because that's just racking up Stealth Rock's damage on the Thunderous as he comes in. Now, he goes Scissor, and, uh, give me a sec to explain my motives here. There's three Scissor sets in OU, like, pretty much only three sets. There is the very rare Defog set, which is actually my personal favorite scissor set to run, the Mega Defog. Uh, max HP, max defense. No one runs that, but I think it's the best set, the, or at least the best Defogger in the tier. Um, so there's that set, which isn't a threat to my team. Um, other than that, there's Swords Dance Life Orb. Um, and other than that, there's Choice Band. Or Swords Dance uh, Mega, of course, are the are the options. So if it's Choice Band, Keldeo is not a switch in because he's going to U-turn. I'm going to take Rock's damage. I'm going to take actually quite a lot from Choice Band U-turn from a Scissor, and he's going to go into Thunderous and then Volt Switch. And at 40% minus Rocks minus Volt Switch, Umbreon doesn't come in. So if he's Banded, this isn't a switch in. And if he is Swords Dance Life Orb. Uh, and he, you know, sets up, then that's actually kind of bad if he starts setting up in my face. Um, pretty sure Nectric can still survive a hit, and I know Gliscor can still survive a hit, I know Keldeo can still survive a hit, so there's not really much reason to for him to Swords Dance other than just to deal a significant damage to one of my checks so that one of his other Pokemon can sweep, if that was his plan, but if he's Banded or if he's going for Swords Dance, I don't really want to be switching out, so... Uh, I actually, st oh wait, I can just press the play. I actually stay in here and go for the foul play, hoping um, he goes for sword dance. Uh, I didn't really think he did, but he does go for sword dance, and that's actually able to let me take out the scissor, which is quite nice. I really didn't need Umbreon for the rest of the match. His two special attackers are both weak to rocks, and I've got the rest of my team. 
So Rio's Thunder is here, and he misses the Focus Blast, but um, as I said, it doesn't really matter, because I didn't really need Umbreon, I was just sacking it. And if I protected anyway, I would have gotten that much health back and survived either way, and the miss wouldn't have mattered. Uh, and I would have gotten a foul play off and then just killed it with pretty much anything. But, you know, what can you do? He goes into Thunderous here, and U turns to get the Regenerator boost off, which is uh, not not a bad idea, to be honest. Um, in comes Sharpedo. I do still have Scarf Keldeo, which can survive a hit, even if he gets two Protects off, which he's going to have to do. And Tornadus isn't really a switch into Secret Sword, because, you know, that goes to Defense and Assault Vest at the Gate Set. Get the crit there. Bit unfortunate. I do have like a billion things to sack in the back either way, which is uh, quite okay. Minectric pretty much wins the game in that respect either way. Um, like I said, he'll have to get two protects, and even there, Keldeo is bulky. Keldeo can take a hit. Uh, he doesn't get the second protect, so Keldeo is going to take out the Sharpedo. So pretty fun game. Uh, I did want to put. I did want to do a quick thing with it because I don't know. I enjoyed the battle. I enjoyed his team. Um, I like I've said several times. I really enjoy my team. Um, but yeah, that's the battle.